excitement in Vegas, as you can see from behind me. We are outside of the Team USA training facility at the Mendenhall Center, the newest addition to the UNLV campus. As you can see, people are excited. I had the opportunity to speak with Lance Thomas a second ago about his role on the USA Select Team. We'll go to that right now. How are you enjoying your time on the Select Team? It's a good experience. You know, going against these guys, getting ready. Uh, but also, you know, going against guys on our team. You know, we had scrimmage today. It was good to you know, get a good run in. How does this compare to being on the Pan American Games team? The, the kind of guys that you're playing with, the not big um, I mean, the Pan American Games was great. I mean, it really helped me, you know, be a lot better. It helped me get on the scene. And now, you know, that I got invited to this event off the Pan American Games, you know, it's time to take it up a level. So I've been, you know, training, making sure I'm ready to compete with these guys. And this past career, that's what we've been doing. Is there any one thing? I'm sure you're taking a lot of stuff from this. Is there any one thing that stands out that you're going to remember when you're preparing next year or on the floor next year? Um, yeah, you have to bring it. I mean, if you watch when we compete against the uh, senior team, they're going right at us. You know, they're picking us up the floor. They're pushing us. They're, you know, they're making it a really tough game. So, you know, I'm just going to take that and you know, be able to compete through that. Is there is there anybody else on the select team who has particularly impressed you? Yeah, I'm really impressed with Gerald. Um, he's a really good player. I didn't, I've seen him, you know, play in the playoffs, but you know, playing alongside him now, seeing how good, you know, very cool he is. And I think he's a really good player. Yeah. Uh, how is your relationship with Coach K then? Have you talked to him over the last bunch of years? Yeah, Coach, you know, we've gotten really, really. I think we even got even closer when I left. Yeah. I mean, we were really close when I was there, but uh, I speak to Coach a lot. Um, his wife's here. I mean, almost everybody from Duke is here, so you know, it makes me feel like I'm back home. Is there anything he's told you um, during this session that's really stood out in your mind or anything? Hey, he told me to compete. You know, be myself, compete, and um, you know, help him get his team ready. So that's what I'm gonna do. What position are they using you at? Uh, uh, today I played some three and some four, so, um, so they're using me as a versatile player. So you know, I'm, there's times where I'm guarding LeBron, there's times where I'm guarding Kevin Durant. So what was it like guarding LeBron or Durant? I mean, it's tough. I mean, it was, you know, arguably two of the best players in the league. And, um, you know, and they're hungry. You know, I mean, LeBron just won, but, you know, Kevin Durant's hungry. You know, guys out there are really hungry. They want to win it again. So they're coming at us, and, you know, it's our job as on a select team to push them. So every time I'm on the court with them, I go at them. Uh, do you have any thoughts on uh, on what Eric Gordon has been saying about his, about the teammates and, and just not having big men? And kind of ignoring the fact that he, had a bunch, he has a bunch of big men on the roster? Well, I haven't really seen much about that. Um, all I hear is uh, I hear hearsay. You know, yeah, I don't want you to try. <laughs> um, you know, but you know, we want him back. So you know, if we can get him, that'd be great. Do you have any initial thoughts on Anthony Davis? I think he's a really good player. Um, I worked out with him before. And, uh, I think he's really good. You know, he needs to get healthy and get back on the floor as you know, soon as possible. Where, where do you see yourself fitting in the NBA? Do you think you're a three or four? Or, I mean, I, I think I can be a combo of both. Um, I can guard every position on the floor. Uh, helps my cause. So. Yeah, Monty said last year that you know, for a guy like you to really uh, find a, a secure place in the NBA is going to have to be able to do whatever it takes. And it seems like that's something you're willing to do. Yeah. I mean, is, is there anything you say no to when a coach says, can you do this? No, I mean, if he tells me to do something, I'm going to do it to the best of my ability. What have you been working on this summer? Uh, I've been working on my body, getting stronger, uh, more consistent uh, mid-range shot. And Get a picture of those guns. <laughs> those guns, right? Have, you, have you added a bunch of weight? Yeah, right now I'm weighing about 242, so uh, that's a lot more weight than I have. Do you know what you finished last year? Uh, I was about 225. Oh, wow. So 17 pounds of muscle, huh? Yeah. I assume it's all muscle? <laughs> yes, almost. Uh, are, you, are you in good shape right now? Yeah, I'm in great shape. You know, um, I'm excited. And, you know, summer league's right around the corner, so I'll be ready for that. I've heard mixed things about whether or not you're actually under contract for the Hornets next year. Are you? I have to uh, go to training camp and make the team uh, through the guarantee date. So. Has Monty given you or Dell given you any indication of, uh, of whether or not you could do well? Uh, not as of now, but I'm going to continue to keep working and you know, do the things that they'd like me to do and we'll see what happens. When I spoke with Dell, he gave me the impression you were on the Hornets, you were still a Hornet. Um, is there anything that they talked to you about this summer about what you need to improve on? Yeah, they want me to you know, be a more consistent shooter. Um, like I said, you know, continue to get stronger and you know, just be able to just defend and be able to compete every time I'm on the floor. So everything that they asked me to do, I'm doing in the summer. Um, oh, you got anything? Um, any thoughts on playing? It looks like Ryan Anderson is going to be on the team this year. Um, any thoughts about him? Right, it's, uh, it's a great shooter. I mean, and he's a really good rebounder um, for you know, his height, so that'll be, that'll be a good pickup. Can you, can you talk for a second about um, how the NBA game has kind of evolved and how bigger men are, are going further and further outside and, and spreading the floor a little bit? And how yeah, it's making it a really you know diverse game. I mean, you know, guys like Durant who can just shoot from anywhere on the floor, you know, but also can shoot over you in the post. I mean, there's a lot of value in guys that can play like that, so he's doing really well. Cool. Um, is there anything that you're looking forward to in the next couple days?
days in Vegas? Anything you've seen that you, uh, you know, non-basketball-wise that you didn't think you'd see? Or? I've been to Vegas before. This is, you know, I'm not really, you know, starstruck out here as far as, you know, all the casinos and all the people here. I've been here before. Uh, but I really, what I really want to take from these next two days, I want to make sure we play, uh, you know, when we play against the senior team, I really want to, you know, go at them even more, you know, so my, something I would get from this is, you know, pushing myself as hard as I can against them so that, you know, when summer league comes, I'm already ready, game ready to go. How much, how important do you think it is playing against guys who are, who are arguably better than you are in terms of it's, your own improvement? It's great. It makes you really see what you have to do, you know, to compete at this level or even at the highest level, you know, in the NBA with the best in the All-Star. So, um, you know, I'm just going to you know, go at them and gauge where I'm at and what I need to do. Are you going to be part of the Hornets summer league team? Days and I'll be with them. Are you going to stay out here the entire time? Or yeah, I'll be here all the way until the 22nd. I'll still. <laughs> all right. Cool. Well, I appreciate it.